So in this video, we will proceed with the next subtopic 9.4, Implicit Differentiation. So consider the situation when we need to differentiate x with respect to x. So for example, if we have d over dx of x, all this while basically we differentiate our x in this case would be 1 and at the back actually we have dx over dx and that what is meant by differentiate x with respect to x and we can cancel this out that's why we get 1 as our final answer so what will happen when we differentiate y with respect to x so derivative of y is still 1 but at the back, we will have y dy over dx. And that's come the implicit of differentiation. And in other words, we can say the derivative of y would be dy over dx. So, what happens when we differentiate the equation with respect to x of 3x squared plus 2y minus 6 equal to 0? So, derivative of 3x squared would be 6x and we will have dx over dx. Derivative of 2y would be 2. We will have dy over dx. Derivative of 6 would be 0. dx over dx. And last one, derivative of 0 is still 0. dx over dx. And in this case, our answer will be 6x plus 2dy dx equal to 0. So let's do some exercises to check our understanding. So for example 14, we have to find dy dx for each of the following function. So part A. We have the equation of x cubed plus y squared equal to 2x minus 3. First step, basically we have to differentiate every single term. Um, for our first question, I will write this in a long term. So, means that for this question, we have to differentiate every single term with respect to x. So, we will have d over dx of x cubed plus d over dx of y squared equal to d over dx of 2x minus with d over dx of 3. So now we have to differentiate each of the following. So first 1x cubed, if we differentiate this, we will get 3x squared. Moving on to our second term, y squared, if we differentiate this, we will get 2y. But since with respect to x, we will have dy over dx as our partner. Equal to derivative of 2x, we will get 2. And last one, derivative 3, you will get 0. Now, since we want to find dy dx, so we have to rearrange our equation so that dy dx will be our main subject. So our 2y dy over dx will be equal to 2 minus 3x squared. And finally, our dy dx in this case will be equal to 2 minus 3x squared divided by 2y. And that is basically how you find dy over dx from the equation. We practice more with part b. So for part b, we have y minus 3y squared plus 4x squared minus 7 equal to x. Means that now we have to differentiate each of the following terms. So if I rewrite back, it will be d over dx of y minus d over dx of 3y squared plus d over dx of 4x squared minus d over dx of 7 equal to d over dx of x. You don't have to rewrite this in your full solution because uh, we are still at the beginning of our lesson. I just rewrite 
one by one to avoid any confusion. Okay, so now we differentiate each of the following terms. So first term, derivative of y. So we will get 1 since it's y variable. So you will have dy over dx as your partner. Next one, minus with derivative of 3y squared. You differentiate that one as usual. So you're going to get 6y. And once again, since it's y variable, so you will have dy dx as your partner. Plus with next one, we have 4x squared. So derivative of that one would be 8x minus next one. Derivative of 7 would be 0 equal to and last one. Derivative of x would be 1. And that is basically how you differentiate each of the term. Now, since we want to make dy dx as our main subject, so you have to rearrange your equation. So we will have dy over dx. This one can be factorized outside, so you're going to get 1 minus 6y equal to 1 minus 8x. And finally, your dy dx would be 1 minus 8x divided by 1 minus 6y. And that is your answer. We practice once more with question C. We have set of x equal to set of y minus 3x plus y squared. Okay, for this question, don't be confused. We have a set, so you can um, change it into power form first. So this can be rewrite as x to the power of half equal to y to the power of half minus 3x plus y squared. Okay, now we differentiate each of the terms. So first one, we have to differentiate x to the power of half. So this would be 1 over 2 x to the power of negative half equal to second term we have to differentiate y to the power of half so we will get half y to the power of negative half and since this is a y variable so we will have dy dx don't forget that minus with derivative of 3x will be 3 and last one derivative of y squared will be 2y dy over dx Okay, after that, we can simplify our equation a little bit more. So, first term, this will be 1 over 2 third x. And then, um, I transfer 3 to our left side. So, we're going to get plus 3 equal to dy dx. I can factorize it outside. So, we will get dy over dx of 1 over to third y plus with two y. Okay, since we have two different uh, terms here, we can equate the denominator. So we will get one plus with um six third x over two third x for our left side equal to dy over dx of and same as our right hand side we can equate the de denominator so we're gonna get 1 plus um, 4 y third y will be y to the power of 3 over 2 over 2 third y okay and last step make our dy dx as our main subject so we will get 1 plus 6 third x over 2 third x times with um, so for this fraction i just have to flip it over so we will have 2 third y over 1 plus 4 y to the power of 3 over 2 for this part, we can cancel out 2. So, our final answer for dy dx would be set of y over x times with 1 plus 6 set x divided by 1 plus 
4y to the power of 3 over 2. And we will continue more exercises on part 2 of implicit differentiation. Thank you.